thinking of timing the market the truth in toronto's latest trend stay tuned to know more watch this video till the end we're gonna cover the big elephant in the room timing the market and the latest trend we're gonna discuss for the month of march 2024 so stay tuned till the end lot of important information if you are a real estate investor or if you are thinking of buying a home or if you have already bought a home if you want to educate yourself this video is for you and if you are thinking of timing the market for sure this video is for you right hey hey this said ashish sharma your realtor with right at home reality brokerage in today's video we're gonna discuss as the title says thinking of timing the market and we're gonna discuss the latest trend as well so without further ado let's unlock real estate Today, we're not going to jump on the directly jump on the uh, trends right away. We're going to discuss the big elephant in the room, which is timing the market. A lot of people have this came to me and uh, uh, as I'm a very data driven person and they ask about the data question, I always answer them and help them make informed decision. But they always ask me this question as well. Can we time the market? So let's discuss some numbers stay tuned with me and have patience listen properly and you will come to know what i'm trying to convey the message over here right i'm gonna share some key numbers key numbers right as i study data all the time so key numbers this data is only for this numbers we are representing whatever we are seeing is only for city of toronto so if you are looking for any other municipality give me a call on my next screen or in the description or anywhere you can find my name on social media you will come across me reach out to me i'll be happy to answer all your questions and subscribe to the channel if you are looking for other properties and other municipalities as well i post around nine to ten videos of different municipalities every month so stay tuned and educate yourself okay so now this is the time to discuss timing the market so first of all let me give you some brief before the pandemic even hit let's take january of 2020 right the average price for city of toronto in the month of january 2020 was 0.88 million precisely around 884,385 dollars for the month of january 2020 okay pandemic came a little bit decline happened and then like crazy shoot up happened like till april of 2022 like 2020 it was crazy run 2021 it was crazy run until april of 2022 market touched the peak in city of toronto and everybody knows that and the april 2022 average price was hovering around 1.24 million which is up 40.76 percent 40.6 percent from january 2020 yes 40.6 percent now that was the peak yes prices jumped 40 percent more than 40 percent in in around two years time two years and uh four months time but that is not the overall story now i'm gonna share couple and then after that city uh, bank of canada started increasing interest rate so two numbers i'm gonna take if you are thinking of timing the market you have already missed the opportunity because market kind of bottom these two times in previous months let me give you more example january 2023 average price came around 0.99 million for city of toronto which is down 20.5 percent from april 2022 peak and it was only up 11.7 percent from 20 january of 2020 before the even pandemic start in three years period it only gained 11.7 percent which is very genuine increase according to the real estate right now if you would have bought it in january 2023 you would have might have timed the market now fast forward to january 2024 and in the whole year market goes up and down up and down but this particular number of january 2023 and january 2024 kind of like the lowest after the biggest peak happened in April of 2022. So fast forward to January 2024, two months before. Average price declined even further than the January 2023 to 0.96 million for January 2024, which is down 22.8% from April 2022 peak and only up 8.5% from January 2020. So technically, 
January 2020 average price was hovering around 0.88 million. January 2024 average price was hovering around 0.96 million, which is up only 8.5 percent. Why I'm sharing this thing? In January month, nobody knew this will be the bottom. Even in 2024, even in 2023, yes, market declined. It was going slow, but. in february market picked up march market picked up again in 2024 and same happened last year market went like prices went like 1.1 million as well at some point but the point is can you time the market you cannot don't try that you can all you can do is make a informed decision based on month of inventory based on where the market is heading based on the sales price to listing price based on the sales to new listing ratios all these parameters can help you make an informed decision and you cannot time the market but you can make informed decision to like make a best informed decision close to the timing the market now whoever have bought properties in january 2024 in city of toronto kind of time the market but were they aware of that maybe not so it's not about timing the market it's about how much time you are in the market right so without further ado subscribe to this channel if you like this what i discussed reach out to me to answer all your questions i'll be happy to provide you if you are not working with any realtor happy to help you with your buying selling and investing needs now without further ado let's unlock real estate and provide the quick market updates for city of toronto Okay so average price for city of toronto for the month of march 2024 was hovering around 1.09 million which is up 3.1% year over year and up 1.4% month over month yes it is only up 1.4% month over month when but as i just in my last 7 minutes i explained what happened in january 2024 if i just compare with the january 2024 when the prices were 0.96 million march is up 13.2% from january of 2020 right trailing average is hovering around uh, 1.09 million let's see how the number of sales activity look like look like 2308 transaction happened in the month of march in city of toronto which is down 8.5% year over year and up 17.1% month over month and just to give the brief like since the pandemic and stuff like uh, january 2023 is kind of the lowest number of sale activity we have seen which was 1108 right let's see how the individual property types performed in city of toronto toronto detached properties are hovering around 1.71 million with 647 properties exchange hand semi detached at 1.30 million with 222 properties exchange hand and link properties only six exchange hand at 1.1 million and freehold townhouses at 1.27 million with 80 properties exchange hand why i give this number so that you can educate yourself reach out to me each and every municipality listen each and every municipality each and every housing category behave differently you cannot compare what is happening in freehold townhouses in toronto will be the same in freehold townhouses in oakville or city of burlington or vaughan markham oshawa whitby no no don't do that mistake it's different everywhere i'm breathing in breathing out that thing that's why i'm saying that let's see how the condo market is happening Condo townhouses are averaging around 0.86 million with 156 properties exchange hand, and condo apartment hovering around 0.73 million with 1186 properties exchange hand. Condo apartments are always a 50% share of the overall property types in city of Toronto. Let's see how the don't go yet because month of inventory and average days on market stays a lot of things. So stay tuned. Month of inventory. Let's unlock what is month of inventory for city of Toronto for March 20 March 2024. 2.4 months of inventory. This is seller's market according to the technical terms. But still market is kind of fluctuating. 2 months ago we saw the bottom and look like it is taking on an average 22 days for any properties to get sold. And remember guys, I'm a random guy on YouTube. If you are looking for any financial advice, this is not any kind of financial advice. If you are looking for any financial advice, reach out to the prospective professional tax accountants, realtors, reach out to them. they will be happy to answer all your question this is just i am laying out this thing for the educational purposes this is not any kind of financial advice if you are not working with any realtor call me on the number provided i'll be happy to help you assist you for your buying selling and investing needs and as i always and as i always say keep on learning keep on hustling keep on growing until next time have a good one